So right now it's just a script. So all you need to do is to load the script and run it and uh, it's going to be good to go. You can go into your tab here and it's going to appear here, the light linking tab. Uh, it's probably going to open like this. Uh, I haven't found a way to make it larger. I would like to make it larger. So uh, if you know a way to do it, that would be cool too. Okay, so this is what I was trying to reproduce, the Maya workflow, where you have the light editor here, you have all your lights here, and you have all your objects here. So the way it works is very simple. You select your light, you select the object, and that's it. That's that simple. You just click on what you want to be linked or not. It's a very, very fast and easy way to work. You don't need to create any groups, you don't need to do anything. Uh, but unfortunately, we cannot do this in Blender. We can't even highlight multiple items in a list, so that's a bit complicated. And you can also search, so if I want the radio, here I got all the radio, the lights that have radio in it, and then I can link them all together at the same time to whatever I want. You can even link to shading groups, so that's, that's pretty cool. So that's what I wanted to uh, redo in Blender. So, and this is what I get. So here you can say I want to see all the lights or only the selected lights. They're all checked in. That's the only way to, to decide what, sh what I want to do. I cannot highlight more than one here. That's not possible in Blender. So I had to use checkboxes. So uh, all these ones are selected right now and uh, I can reset. That's going to turn off everything. So again, uh, all lights, selected lights and reset will turn off everything. So I got all these lights here, same thing for the meshes. So let's select a few meshes. Here I can say I want the selected meshes or all the meshes, but you will see that they are still highlighted here, so I need to reset them. Now you will also see that for all of them, you can uh, you can filter them. So if I write, for example, B, then I have only this one that has the blue on it. And uh, one thing I was trying to do is to get this search thing here, this filter thing on by default, open by default, because if you have a search on it, a filter on it, then you click on all lights, even if you have all these lights selected here, uh, selected lights, it looks, like, it looks like it's missing all the area lights here, it's because there's a filter on it. Now they're all there. So that's why I wanted to make sure that uh, this is always open. And uh, it looks kind of weird if the interface is not, if, it, if they're not all open, the interface becomes all screwed up. So I wanted them all open by default. Another thing I wanted to do is to uh, have these columns all sync together. So if I expand one of them, well, they will all follow so that it doesn't break the interface. This is another thing I haven't been able to fix. Now you can see that for the collections, you don't have selected collections or all collections. It's always all collections because the UI doesn't allow you to, uh, to see what is selected in the outliner here. Uh, there's nothing that can allow you to uh, to list everything that is highlighted in the outliner for collections. So we have to deal with this. Now the way it works, uh, I got all these lights here and I want them all to be linked to these objects here. So I'll just go link and uh, all the lights have been linked to the, uh, to, 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 to here you can see all the lights have been linked to what I've, uh, what I had selected. I can also unlink if I want. So link and unlink. Uh, you can do it with collections too. So I could say uh, I want, uh, let's say, the area light to uh, be uh, to, to be linked to the girl. So that means every object that are in the girl collections, all these will be linked on the area here. So if I go link, you can see they all have been added. And this is not one or the other. You can do both. So uh, you can have like uh, I want also the furniture and the ceiling. So it's going to do furniture, ceiling, and girl when I click on link or unlink. So that's how it works. It's very easy to use. It's uh, very fast. And here you can go by alphabetical order and you can uh, switch the order. Uh, so yeah, uh, I want you to give it a shot. Try it. Tell me if it works, what's broken. And uh, if you know, if you're a developer and you know how to keep this always open, that would be very cool. And all to how to sync the three columns together. That would also be very cool. Uh, thank you so much.